Hello, hello, bonjour. My name is Colbertine, host of the Colbertine Report, your monthly news with a French flavor. What's really worth talking about in the US and the rest of the world this month? I promise you bodacious comments. Remember, if the Colbertine Report doesn't make you smarter, it will not make you stupider. Thank you, thank you, merci, merci. Please take a seat. Welcome, nation. Happy to have you on the Colbertine Report. What matters in the US and the rest of the world this month? In the US, Hillary is finally out in the fields. In the rest of the world, what do Greece and Austria have in common? Nation, what a surprise. Hillary Clinton announced that she is running for president. She made it official on April 12 and said, every American need a champion. I want to be that champion. The wolves are out too. All she does and says is criticized, is scrutinized. Come on, give her a break. First, the logo. OMG, social media went nuts over her H with the red arrow pointing to the right. Well, Rick Wolf already designed the Helvetica font. Seems to me she already won a point with a personalized new font. Second, a slogan, ready for Hillary. It was promptly misinterpreted. Third, her bus. Sarah Palin is furious. She said in a brilliant blog that Hillary stole her ID to visit Deep America by bus. Fourth, her age. Okay, she is 67 and she will be 68 in 2016. Papa Reagan was 69 when elected in 1980 and 73 when re-elected in 1984. So, what's the point? Fifth, what would the fox say? And the fox said, it's all about the money. She can rake in the cash. We all know that the fox is an expert when it comes to analyze money and politics. More importantly, we should think about several problems to solve if Hillary is elected. Think about the dilemma regarding the first husband bill. Flotus will have to be changed. Or if we keep the acronym, what would L be to fit bill? Drop the Y of lady and you get laid. Oh, yes, that's it. First laid of the US. Also, Hillary would walk first in and out of Air Force One and salute while Bill would come next, carrying her vanity case. John Stewart noted that it would be the first time two U.S. presidents sleep together, or not. Are we ready for that? What the fuck? And what will happen when the first ladies of the world meet with Bill? We better get ready for that. <laughs> Moving on, nation. In the rest of the world, what do Greece and Austria have in common? Hot politicians. I present. Greece finance minister Yanis Varoufakis, 54. He looks like the next James Bond. Hot. I present Austria youngest foreign minister in the world, Sebastian Kurz, 28, calling for a halt in nuclear weapons. He looks like Prince Williams when he had hair. Hot. Now, compare their looks with U.S. Secretary of Treasury Jack Lew and U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. Why can't we have in the States George Clooney as Secretary of State or Brad Pitt as Secretary of Treasury? Come on, Obama, choose people who have the looks. They have to negotiate with Christine Lagarde. More chances to get what you want with Clooney and Pitt. <laughs> Moving on, nation. Le mot, or as my friend Stephen Culver said, the word. The word is welcome, or most of the people call this the White House Correspondents Association. And more famous is the White House Correspondents Dinner. What started as an association of journalists in 1914 to create a code of conduct after President Wilson got annoyed with press conferences is now a powerful organization with an annual must-be-seen grilling exercise dinner. This year, Obama surpassed his anger translator Cecily Strong, who looks like a mix of Sarah Palin and Monica Lewinsky, grilled politicians and media with great success. Obama laughed a lot, First Lady looked pretty, and many grilled VIPs swallowed their ego with a fake smile. What the fuck? Is it over already? Yes, it is. I wish you a great time until next month. And remember, 
If the Colbertian report doesn't make you smarter, it will not make you stupider.